how do you securely and effectively manage both company owned and personally owned devices in your business? Well, if you use Microsoft 365, then there's a handy feature called Microsoft Intune. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the six ways that Microsoft Intune can benefit your business. But before we start, let's have a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards, and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. Now, I've got an IT company called Integral IT, and we help businesses with their IT support, the Microsoft 365, and the cybersecurity. Now, please do me a favor. If you get any value from this video, please subscribe to my channel. Now, before we launch into the great benefits of using a cloud-based service like Microsoft Intune, it's important to understand what Intune does. And to do that, I think we've got to cast our minds back, maybe 10, 50, or even 20 years ago. How did IT work in those old days? Well, all businesses had servers inside their offices. Those servers were responsible for all your IT services, like email, files and folders, and applications. And it was only executives or managers managers who worked outside of the office. They used something called remote access and they'd access the company information like email, files and folders through a dial-up remote access connection using a big bulky laptop. And what about accessing emails on smartphones? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't exist. Everything IT-wise was tied to your office. And from an IT standpoint, all we had to do was secure that office. Bit of antivirus, nice looking firewall, jobs are good. But then something happened, something big. And that something was called cloud computing. We were no longer tied to the traditional office. We no longer needed big servers in our offices to run our IT services. We could work anywhere, at any time, on any device. Every business had much more flexibility. How wonderful. Except for IT security, it opened a little bit of a can of worms. We no longer had the protection of those office IT systems. Those boundaries just vanished. People wanted to work on any device anywhere in the world. They wanted their email on their own personal smartphone. You even employ people who aren't on your payroll and they use whatever device they want. So what do we do in today's golden age of cloud computing? Yes, we want people to be able to work anywhere, anytime, on any device. But the thing we must do is keep our business data secure. We'll step forward a really important tool called Microsoft Intune, also known as Microsoft Endpoint Manager, all part of the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. And in this video, we're gonna look at Intune and we're gonna look at how you can use Intune in your business to protect company-owned devices, to protect freelancers who want to use their own devices and to provide protection if some of your staff members want to use their smartphone to access company data. We'll also look at how you can provide more protection for your business by using a feature called conditional access. And to finish off with, we're going to talk about a really cool feature of Microsoft Intune called Autopilot. So strap yourself in, grab yourself a cup of tea and let's talk about all things Microsoft Intune. The first thing to cover is how do you get Microsoft Intune? Well, obviously you need the right Microsoft 365 license in order to use Intune. Now, we always recommend to our clients that they use Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Now, this includes Intune. Intune is also available with the enterprise versions of Microsoft 365, like Microsoft 365 E3 and E5. Now, we've talked about how to get yourself a copy of Intune. Now, let's talk about the business benefits. The first topic I want to cover are company-owned devices. Now, as a business, you will own some computers. These might be PCs, they might be laptops. Now, you might have all these devices in just one office, or you might have people working at home. You might have people who are working in different countries. Now, you want to make sure that these devices are kept secure at all times. For example, you might want to ensure that BitLocker is enabled on all your computers. Now, if you're new to BitLocker, this means that the hard drive is encrypted. So if that device is lost or stolen, your data can't be got at because it's encrypted. 
said. You might want to make sure that every device has antivirus software installed. So how can Intune help with all this? Well, within Intune, you can set kind of rules that every device has to follow in order to access your data. So you could have a policy that said something like, every device has to have BitLocker enabled. Every device has to have antivirus software. Now, if a device comes along and tries to join your Microsoft 365 and doesn't have one of those, then the device will be marked as non-compliant. Now, from there, you can actually block that device from accessing your data. Now, these are just a couple of basic examples, BitLocker and antivirus. We can really build on this to make your rules really secure. The next thing I want to talk about are personally owned devices. We now work in a slightly different way. Sometimes we employ people who aren't actually on our payroll. They might be subcontractors or freelancers. So they use a device that isn't owned by our company. Conversely, we might have people who work at home all the time and they prefer to use their home devices. Now, obviously in both these examples, we need to provide access to our company data, but we need to do it in a secure way. So how can Intune help? Well, within Intune, we can use something called MAM, Mobile Application Management and Windows Information Protection. So how does this work? So first, let's set the scene. You've got a freelancer working for you, but you've not supplied them with a company laptop. They've got their own personal laptop. Installed on that laptop are applications like Spotify, Evernote, Minecraft. None of these have anything to do with your business. Now with Microsoft Intune, you can create a policy and that policy kind of publishes your company applications and data to that user user's personal laptop. It creates kind of a boundary. On one side of that boundary are the personal applications like Spotify and Evernote. And on the other side of that boundary is your company data. So they can work on your company applications like Microsoft Outlook and Word. They can access your data within the company SharePoint site or within that boundary. But if they try to do something like copying a Word file out of your SharePoint onto their laptop, it won't let them because there's that boundary in place. So in a way, data leakage isn't allowed. Everything stays within your company Microsoft 365, even if it appears like they're working on it on their own personal laptop. Plus, the data is encrypted. And if that person stops working for you, you can remotely wipe your company data from that laptop. This is a nice feature for people who work for you, but you don't want to supply devices to. Now, the third benefit of Microsoft Intune to your business is for people who want to access work data on their own personal phone. Think about this for a minute. In your business, how many people have personal smartphones and have your company applications installed on them? Lots of businesses don't usually give this even a second thought, but these are devices which are not controlled by you who are accessing your company data. And as the business owner, you've got to make sure that your data is kept secure. Now, the first obvious point of view, and I know some of our customers take this, is to not allow people to access company data on their personal phones. But sometimes this isn't practical. People want to have email on the phones because it almost keeps them on top of the jobs. They want to access data. It's just convenient. And the last thing you want to do is start buying smartphones for everybody in your business who wants to use email. So what do you do? Well, again, in in tune, you can create policies for iPhones and Androids that creates a set of rules that these devices have to follow in order to access your data. For example, one rule could be for iPhones, that the iPhone accessing your data has to be a minimum software version. This is a key control of the Cyber Essentials framework. You could have another rule that dictates that if someone wants email on their phone, they must have a six character pin on the iPhone. Again, these are just two examples, but you can go into detail. You're basically saying, yes, you can access the data, but your device has to be secure. You can also have the policy that if that person stops working for you anymore, you can remotely wipe the device of your company applications, and that won't touch their personal stuff. So everybody's happy. So the next thing I want to talk about when it comes to Microsoft Intune is a great feature of Intune, and it's called 
conditional access. So what's conditional access? So when it comes to explaining what conditional access is, I think it helps to talk about a bit of an analogy. Let's imagine you turn up one night to a nightclub. That nightclub has two conditional access policies. The first one is you need a ticket to be able to get into the nightclub. The second one is you're not allowed to wear jeans. Now if you turn up to that nightclub and you've got a ticket but you've got jeans on, you're not getting in. Likewise, if you're wearing jeans and you've got no ticket, you're also not getting in. But if you turn up to that nightclub with a ticket and a smart pair of trousers, then you're getting into that nightclub. So you have met the conditions of access for that nightclub. So how do conditional access policies work within Microsoft 365? Well, let's look at an example similar to the nightclub. You could say that everyone who accesses your Microsoft 365 data must have multi-factor authentication enabled and they must be within the UK. So if you've not got MFA enabled or you're not within the UK, you're not getting access. Now, just as a side note, you can wear jeans and access Microsoft 365. And finally, I want to finish off this video by talking about another great feature of Microsoft Intune and that is Autopilot. So what's Autopilot? Well, for us IT folk, Autopilot is a lovely little feature. It simplifies the setup of new devices within your business. With Windows Autopilot, one of your users could unbox a new laptop. They could switch it on. It will ask for their Microsoft 365 username and password. Remember, this is straight out of the box, a brand new laptop. They enter their Microsoft 365 username and password and the device configures itself. It installs all the applications that they need, all the settings what they need, and all the security configurations that your business demands. It's like an auto setup. So for us IT folk, we love it. But for your end users, particularly remote workers, it enables them to set up a new device in minutes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've given some really great examples about Microsoft Intune and how it can benefit your business. If you need any help with your company Microsoft 365, drop us a line.